Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Alright, I'm super excited because I received my first ever order from scrapbook.com today. Now, what I was actually looking for at the time was some of the Echo Park My Dog collection. And I found it on YouTube recently and discovered it was actually a fairly old collection so I was struggling finding it. And then while I was online, I found a few other things that I thought, why not? The prices were really good there, actually. So I bought them. And I'm going to do some crafting projects that I'm going to share with you all soon as well. So I purchased a lot of things from the, uh, what's it called again? I just had a total mind blank. <laughs> it's called the Cute and Crafty Doodlebug Collection. This one here is their cardstock stickers and as you can see they're like a 3D sticker so they're really really cute and I'm thinking of turning that into a paper clip possibly. Now I also got these ones here which is the little miniature of the sprinkles that they have, those ones there, and a little camera. I thought that was so cute. You can also use these on scrapbooking and cards but I thought turning them into paper clips would be way more fun. And then this cute little glue gun and the pair of scissors. How cute are they? And then I've seen a lot of people using this mint tape from scrapbook.com just to hold things down while they're card making. It doesn't leave any sticky residue and it doesn't tear your paper. So I thought I'd give this a try because that will come in handy, especially if I'm putting through things through my die cutting machine. All right, then I purchased a packet of the Chit Chat die cuts and I don't even need to pull them all out because it shows you on the back here a picture of all the die cuts that were included in this pack. So as you can see there, there's a huge variety of sentiments and they're all color coordinated in the theme. So that's that one there. And then I also purchased the odds and ends die cuts and I'll just bring that up close so you can see all the die cuts that are in this collection. So cute. I have to say this has to be one of the cutest doodle bug collections that I have ever seen. I mean I say that about all of them but oh, it's all about craft. I mean what more can I say? <laughs> and then I decided to do something I've never ever done before these shadow boxes and I thought this would be so pretty to hang on my craft room walls and especially since it's all craft related so I'm actually gonna do a separate video about this I think hopefully or I'll at least show you what I've created on my Instagram at stationary happiness if I don't film a video about it but it creates this beautiful shadow box and I have purchased a frame already from Kmart of Australia. Um, Kmart Australia um, purchased the frame, I think from memory it was about $6. It wasn't very expensive and they had a black and a white one that was going to fit because it had to be 8 inches by 8 inches. Um, but I chose the white frame. So really excited to get crafty with this one here. And then I also purchased the 12 by 12 paper pack. Now, oh, I was really frustrated with myself because I actually had thought that I also had put the 6 by 6 paper pack in my cart. And after I submitted my order, I was going through and just, I know I should have double checked it before I submitted it, but I swear it was there. But anyway, it wasn't. And so I've only got the 12 by 12 paper pack, but that's okay. I can still use this to make cards but what I am really using it for anyway is to make dividers for my planners so I'm not too upset about it and then I'll use the scraps to make cards. Um, you can see a little snippet of all the papers that it comes with so there's a huge variety of papers in the pack and it says that they're all going to be double sided and we also get a this and that sticker sheet. And the sticker sheet I saw on the back here, look how cool these stickers are. We've got cute as a button, my happy place, every day is a good day to craft. So lots of fun sentiments and the colours in this kit are so, so, so me. And now to the whole reason why I ended up at scrapbook.com. I have a planner for our dog. It keeps a record of all his medical history, his vet visits, vaccinations, when he's ill, etc, etc. And... One 
day I stumbled across this collection. It is called the Echo Park I Love My Dog Collection. I wasn't able to get this um, anywhere that I could find in Australia, so I found it on scrapbook.com. Um, and what I'm planning to do is make some really cute planner dividers using these papers. Look at the papers that come in the kit. Aren't they just adorable? So there's a little snippet of them all. I thought they were so, so cute. And then it also comes with some little like journal cards that you can use to pop on your planner dividers. And it comes with stickers as well. So let's see if we can see the stickers on the back there. Isn't this literally the cutest collection you've ever seen? I don't know how I did not know about this when it was released. Possibly I did, but we didn't have a dog at the time. But I think this is going to make literally the cutest um, planner setup ever. And I'm definitely going to share that with you on my Instagram, Stationary Happiness, when that's finished. All right, and then I purchased some extra pages as well because I figured once I finish setting up my planner, I can then make some cards and things as well. And I know my daughters will want some of these. So I purchased these ones here and this one here. And if I remember right, these were not from the I Love My Dog. Yes, these weren't from the I Love My Dog collection. These were from the My Dog collection. So there must have been two different ones at one point or another. And I loved the sentiments on these. Look at this one. Home is where the dog runs to greet you. Oh, so cute. And a bark means I love you in dog. Oh. And I just realised double-sided look at that that's the previous paper and this one here's just got this check pattern on there and what else did I order extra of oh some more of the stickers of course so I can do a planner setup as well and then this one here was from the I love my dog collection so even though it came in the paper pack I just wanted some more of those then I can make some cards for some doggy friends so cute and then in this pack you get some frames and tags that's all that I could find I couldn't find any more die cuts or anything but that's okay that's all that I was after and then at scrapbook.com I didn't know this because it was my first order with them I just noticed this is already not very sticky so it just peels off I haven't even looked at it yet but I received a pack of um what is it 210 GSM smooth cardstock, 40 sheets. Gee, that is smooth. And all different colours there. Not in my colour theme, unfortunately. But I'm sure that when I'm doing my card making, these colours will come up from time to time. So I'll get to use those. All right, so there we go. That is my haul from scrapbook.com. Sometimes living in Australia, getting um, products from companies such as Echo Park and Doodlebug can be hard. I normally have a supplier that I buy my Doodlebug um, products from. They're located in South Australia. Um, but on this occasion, because I was purchasing the Echo Park stuff that I couldn't find anywhere else in Australia, I decided, well, why not? I might as well just make the order big so the postage was worth it. Um, and yeah, so that is my haul. I'm really looking forward to getting crafty with these things and I will definitely share them with you on my Instagram at Stationary Happiness. So make sure you're following me over there. And thank you so much for watching today. You have a wonderful day. Bye.